welcome to Google Cloud Arcade Facilitated Program 2025. Last year, you guys did a great job. So many of you aimed for the ultimate milestone and got it. It was not easy. So a big clap for those. Today, we'll discuss some important steps and information about Arcade. So what actually is Google Cloud Arcade Facilitated Program? This is a campaign by Google Cloud in a gamified manner to teach everyone essentials of cloud and how they can excel in this industry. So technical practitioners of all levels, be it a student who is in first year or someone who is in fourth year or someone who is like actually working, they can learn new cloud skills such as computing, application development, big data and AI ML. If you uh, get a bunch of points, will qualify for a milestone and that milestone will have a set of prizes that you can get. We'll talk about it later. So what will you actually learn and how you will learn in this program? This program is divided into four components. Arcade games, arcade trivia games, skill badges and lab free courses. An arcade game is a series of labs. When you complete all those labs, you will get the badge and each arcade game badge will give you one point. And if the arcade badge is starred, like you will see star icon on the badge, then it will give you two points. And arcade badges are released at once. Like there are six arcade games uh, every month. All right. So now let's talk about arcade trivia games. They are quite similar to arcade games, but there are some like there are some differences such as there are only four arcade trivia games and they are released in the first like in the starting of each week of the month. So basically every week of one month, you'll get one one arcade trivia game and completing one game will give you one point. Next, we have skill badges. Basically, a skill badge is a series of labs that will help you uh, gain a skill on cloud. All right. And if you complete two skill badges, you will get one point. Now let's talk about lab free courses. We talked about arcade games, arcade trivia games, skill badges, all these three components they have labs involved. So basically you have to use credits, the credits you will get for free. Uh, use those credits to start lab and complete those. But these lab free courses, they do not require any credit and there are no individual points for them, but they are required for you to qualify for any milestone. We'll talk about the point system a bit later. So what are the perks? You can learn industry standard tools. You can get hands on the cloud. You will get Google Cloud credits to learn. You'll get free access to paid labs through credits and a lot of swags. Now the most important part, how to register. Very important. You will need a email, preferably a gmail.com for smooth experience, because you know, if you use an email, which is in the domain of some company, they might restrict some activities there. So make sure you use at gmail.com. So you will have a smooth experience and make sure you have never used that email before on Google cloud skill badge. This is essential because if you use a fresh email, they can track it very nicely. What labs you do, what uh, skill badges you do, and you'll get accurate points. All right. So very, very important. Make sure you use an untouched email with untouched. I mean, you have never used that email on cloud. All right. Second thing is this referral code. I'll put this in the description of the video. Third thing is your public profile link. Let me show you how to get it. So first we have to visit this Google Cloud Skill Boost website and then click on the first link. And then we have to sign in with our new email or the email which we have never used on Google Cloud. So I'm doing sign in with Google. So we don't need to join. You can simply click close. We have to add a birth date. And then we have to go to my accounts settings. And wait for a while, uh, come to settings then scroll down, click on make profile public and click on this also and these also and just update settings. After this, you will get this link, copy it properly, right click and copy so that you don't like take any extra space and keep it somewhere. Now you guys have your public profile link. Now let's go ahead and fill the form. Now let's fill the form. So I'll go to bit.ly slash gcaf minus prints. So here Google sign in is required. So I've already signed in with my email, which is fresh. That means I've never used it anywhere on Google Cloud. So I have to check this, record my email, 
put the response and like i mentioned before i have to like keep that thing ready our public profile that we just made so just i uh, like accept these terms put the email again just copy and paste it same email id full name your gender country what advise me i'm a student facilitator code uh, the code i sent you guys the code year of graduation i will just put yes i already have an account with no or few batch completions click on next now they are asking us to go to this website and make profile public which we already did so i'll just go to the website copy my link and paste it here ensure there is no extra space all right they are saying like do not paste this link out here this needs to be your link not this one so go to cloud skill boost your profile settings and copy your public profile link this will be used to track your progress so make sure you are doing it very cautiously and then just click on next and just i acknowledge i acknowledge and just click on submit so finally we have filled the form and we have to keep these things in mind first we have to wait for 24 to 48 hours for the enrollment mail to arrive you have to check your spam junk or others folder like just in case it might land there second thing make sure to email like after filling the form you will get a response copy in your email make sure to forward that response copy to this email address princegupta.gdscfetju at gmail.com i will attach this email in the description too and third and most important step after getting your enrollment email it will have a series of steps very important steps you have to read that very carefully and do those so that you'll get your 600 lab credits that you can use to perform labs now let's talk about the timeline registrations will end when seats are full or by 10th april what this means is officially we have a deadline of 10th april but the program closes enrollment when the seats are full which is usually like three four days earlier so make sure you write away register for it or you will miss it and the program is two months long it will end by june 2nd now let's talk about some faqs first and most important point system for milestone one you will need four arcade badges four trivia badges 10 skill badges as well as live free courses i guess four live free courses all right for milestone two six games six trivia games 20 skill badges and 8 lap free courses. They will give you a total of 30 points. For milestone 3, 8 games, 7 trivia games, 30 skill badges and 12 lap free courses. So total you will get 45 points. And for milestone 4, which is the ultimate milestone, you will need to do 10 arcade games, 8 trivia games, 44 skill badges and 16 out of 18 lap free courses. Those will give you a total of 65 points. Now let's talk about credits and limits. Earlier we used to get unlimited pass but now it's capped to 600 credits. 600 credits are more than enough to get ultimate milestone. All right. Second thing you can only complete 15 laps per 24 hours. This is to ensure that you guys are actually learning and not just watching some YouTube videos with scripts and running those scripts to get the like complete the lap as soon as possible. Go through the laps. They are interesting. You learn something, so make sure do it nicely, ethically, so that you guys can learn something while you're earning swags. Swags are second thing, learning is first. Make sure to keep these things in mind. I'll put the form link in description. Make sure to use a fresh Gmail account. Use the referral code that I will provide in description box. Third thing, mail your response copy to the mail that I will provide in the description box. This is to track like who is filling the form with my referral code. All right. So that's it guys. If you are part of our WhatsApp community, stay there, be active for any updates. If you are not part of the WhatsApp community, feel free to drop any doubts in the uh, comment box and I will revert back to you very soon. Do it nicely. Thank you guys.